Do you have vampire teeth in right yes, now? Yes, I do. Lord Jesus. <laughs> uh... I don't think I've ever been in a witch's home. I think this is my first time. Unless it was somebody who I was a witch honey and I didn't know they were a witch. Oh. Oh, Lord, a skull head? It looked like an altar. What are these, witches? Yeah, this is this is a big shock for me. I felt a little bit awkward walking in because I don't think they knew exactly what to like expect of me. We believe that spirit is what causes the person to sin. So if you are being influenced by a demonic spirit, that is almost in a sense attached to your soul. So I'm, I'm a witch, so I probably have a bad one on me. Oh, wow. I'm really not comfortable having a witch in my house. Tarot cards, Ouija boards. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and my lights are flickering. We expected some opposite, some, some, you know, contrast to our family, but we didn't expect it. What would you call your family as far as, like, religion? It's not for the faint of heart. I actually specialize in the art of casting out evil spirits and demons. This stuff is dangerous for children. So regardless of what the parents want to do, you open up your children to be exposed to demonic torment. It looks innocent and it looks simple, it looks pure, but I'm spiritually too trained to think that this is all that that is. And that's the root of the problem, you're trained. That's the root of the problem that I'm, that, that I'm brainwashed? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm fully convinced that spiritually I am right. I, am, I have the correct uh, religion. If she has, like, any criticism for me, it's going to make me just go off. Like, I'm going to be like, look, I'm not taking your criticism because you're literally an insane person who thinks there's demons in me. As my new rule, I want to do Bible study and at a Christian altar. In the name of Jesus Christ, we claim this space as a holy space of prayer. Seeing them get involved with something that is so precious to me, just really, really, it's sticking with me. I really enjoyed um, when I got to set the new rules. I want to do something fun with the kids. I was thinking we have like makeup day. A lot of the things that we did here was some of the things that we've been working towards doing. This is not necessarily uh, daddy's forte. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm spending more time together, more quality time, um, and getting away from the phones and getting away from the TV and actually spending time doing things together. I kind of hung in the kitchen and talked to Valak um, and you know, I made some small talk, and eventually that small talk turned into some really deep talk. I was a product of a divorce, and um, all I ever really wanted was a father. I wanted to like let him know a little bit more about me that just because I look this way doesn't mean that I don't have my own fair share of stories that embody, you know, pain and disappointment rejection. There is a way that, you know, two faiths or two beliefs can actually coexist and relate to each other. God bless. Blessed be.